And this is the first of four one-hour color specials on hunting and fishing. Can you imagine paying me to go hunting and fishing and being with great guys, Bing Crosby, Phil Harris, Bill Conrad, and get to fish in the best and hunt in the best places in the world? Can you imagine getting paid for that? I did. And uh, for a boy that grew up in Wyoming as an outdoorsman, had a great fly fishing father, this was a dream come true. Kurt has been the most honored sportscaster of all time. He has been inducted into seven sports halls of fame, including the Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, and the Sportscaster Hall of Fame in New York. Kurt began his broadcasting career in his hometown of Cheyenne in November of 1943. He broadcast from a soapbox in a vacant lot in Cheyenne. One of his first games was a six-man game between Pine Bluffs and St. Mary's. My mother drove me down to the field on a cold November afternoon, and there were two soap boxes. Where on one was a microphone like this, the other I was to sit on. No yard lines, no sidelines, no goal posts. The players ran out in the field. They had no numbers. Suddenly they kicked off, the game was on, and I made up the whole game. And I got back home. I, I still think it's the best broadcast I ever did. Just three years later, in 1946, Kurt won a national audition to join Mel Allen broadcasting the New York Yankee games in 1949. When Gowdy had lunch with Mel Allen, he then got a tour of the Yankee offices. George Weiss asked Kurt, what kind of money do you want? Kurt replied, Mr. Weiss, who's kidding who? I'm just lucky to be here. I'm in no position to be demanding anything. I've never even seen a big league baseball game in my life. He worked the Yankee broadcast for three seasons until he left to become the voice of the Red Sox in 1951, a position he held for 15 years. He left the Red Sox to broadcast the NBC television network major league game of the week and the highlighted football games of the AFL. With his versatility and his wearability, he did 16 World Series, 18 All-Star games, eight Super Bowls, 12 Rose Bowls, eight Orange Bowls, 20 NCAA basketball tournaments, eight Olympics, and spent 20 years when he, ever, when he had time, and I, I can't imagine how he ever had any time, to do the American Sportsman, which is as honored a program as sports television has ever seen. Namath has not been bashful this week. He's come down here to, uh, to uh, Miami, and he has said that the Jets are going to win. He doesn't even predict it. He says, I guarantee a Jet victory. Namath, so the football game was cut off the air a minute before it ended, and Heidi was started. The football fans erupted. There were 10,000 phone calls of complaint to New York NBC alone, so many, the telephone switchboards blew out their fuses. Had my briefcase, put my papers and everything. I was walking up the stairs out of the booth in the old uh, Oakland Coliseum, and I heard somebody yell, the floor man, Gowdy, Gowdy, get back here. NBC apologized for the error, but by then, Oakland had scored two touchdowns in the last minute, had beaten New York, the game was over, the fans who missed it could not be consoled. So I said, well, what can we do about it? We want you to to redo the touchdown. But I said, you know, it could never be as exciting as it was live. Well, here is the last minute, as it would have been seen last night if somebody at NBC had got the word. Harmonica to Charlie Smith. Smith is hitting, and he scores! What a game! Earl Christie fumbling it around. He fumbles the ball, and Oakland has it for a touchdown. Oakland has scored two touchdowns in nine seconds. And that's it, the final score, Oakland 43, New York 32. Gowdy says his biggest thrill has been his native state of Wyoming naming a state park in his honor. Gowdy also owned many radio stations around the country, including KOWB and KCGY in Laramie, which just recently sold the Clear Channel. Kurt is now retired, living with his wife, Jerry, in Palm Beach. Congratulations, Kurt, on such an impressive career in the world of broadcasting.